Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again from the O-Ray team with an overview of the eARC-EX330-K audio extension kit. This product was engineered to make it really easy for you to share audio from virtually any media device with a second remote location up to 330 feet away over a single CAT6 or CAT7 LAN cable. Both the transmitter and the receiver feature an SPDIF connection for older equipment as well as an HDMI connection for newer equipment that fully supports both the ARC and eARC standard, which means the kit is plug and play compatible with all of your modern media gear. The kit also employs the very latest in power over cable technology, which means a single power supply is all you'll need to operate the entire solution because the power required for the remote module is sent over that LAN cable. Now, as part of this overview, I'd like to start with a quick unboxing just to show you all the components that are included with the kit, and then I'll take a closer look at the transmitter and the receiver modules and explain the connections and indicators so you understand how to use them. I'll list the features and functions the product provides, and then I'll come back and do a short demonstration to show you just how simple this product will be to use with your own equipment. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first open up the box, you'll find the transmitter module and the receiver module. The transmitter is located at the primary site where your media equipment is, and the receiver is located at that secondary site where you'd like to enjoy the audio. You'll also find a single 12 volt, one amp DC power supply. You can plug this into any standard wall outlet. The other end of the cable has a barrel connection on it, which can plug into the transmitter or the receiver because of that power over cable technology. Be sure to tighten that collar to make sure it doesn't pop out. And then finally, a full instruction manual is also included that lists connection diagrams, specifications, and a lot of other really good information about the kit that you'll want to understand in order to use it correctly. Now, if you stay tuned next, I'll take a closer look at both modules, I'll list the features and functions, and then I'll come back and do that demonstration. Inside the kit, you'll find a transmitter module and a receiver module. Both of these feature full metal enclosures, which make them incredibly durable and a great choice for both residential or commercial installations. Let's start with the transmitter module first. On either side of the cabinet, you'll find these ventilation slots that are really designed to let any heat that develops during operation escape and keep the electronics inside at a very comfortable temperature. On the front of the unit, on the left-hand side, you'll find a power indicator. The minute you add power to the module, it starts an internal power on self test where it checks the electronics and once it passes that test, it'll light that LED letting you know the module's ready to use. To the right of that is a service port. That's a micro USB port that's used for upgrading the firmware on the module if needed later on. And to complete that upgrade, you'll simply connect this to your local computer with a micro USB cable and move that new firmware file over to the module. To the right of that is a switch labeled SPDIF on the left and EARC on the right and that determines which of the two inputs on the rear of this unit you're going to use to send audio from the primary location to the remote location. So if your source is using an SPDIF connection, slide the switch to the left. If your source is HDMI eARC, slide it to the right. On the rear of the unit, starting on the left, you'll find a LAN port. That's where one end of the CAT6 or CAT7 cable between this transmitter and the receiver location is plugged in. To the right of that are two more connections, an SPDIF and an HDMI eARC, and again, this is where you'll connect the device that you'd like to share the audio from with the remote location. So if that device is sharing audio over SPDIF, you'll plug it in here. And if it's over eARC on HDMI, you'll plug it in there. Then finally, to the right of that is another port that's DC 12 volts, and that's a power port. You can plug a power supply in at that primary location, and the other end of the cable has a barrel connection on it, which plugs in right there, and you can finger tighten the collar. Now, because this solution uses power over cable technology, you only need one power supply, and you can either connect that to the transmitter or the remote receiver at that second location. And then the power needed for the other module is sent over that LAN connection, which greatly simplifies your wiring. The receiver module is very similar. Again, a full metal enclosure, ventilation slots on either side. On the front, another power indicator, another service port, and on the rear, You'll find a LAN connection on the left, and that's where the other end of that CAT6 or CAT7 cable plugs in from the transmitter. To the right of that, another SPDIF and another HDMI. These are both output ports, so you'll use these ports to connect to whatever audio device you'd like to listen to the audio through, whether it be a soundbar or a home stereo or an amplifier system. And again, it's determined by the port on the transmitter that you're using to send that audio. So if you're sending audio from SPDIF, plug in here. If you're sending eARC audio, plug in here. 
To the right of that, you'll find another power port. Again, you'll need a single power supply either plugged in at the primary or the secondary location. So if you decide to plug the power supply in at your remote location, you'll connect the other end of the cable here and finger tighten that collar. And the power required for the transmitter is sent over the LAN cable. And that's pretty much it for both of the modules. The O-Ray eARC-EX330-K is compatible with a wide variety of media devices, including digital projectors, audio amplifiers, soundbars, widescreen monitors, and home stereo systems. The product's features include full support of ARC, EARC, and SPDIF audio. It utilizes a single CAT6 or CAT7 connection between the primary and secondary locations. It's compatible with a wide range of different audio formats. It offers 330 feet of extension between the primary and secondary location for the transfer of audio, and it features power over cable technology, which only requires a single power supply to operate the entire solution. Now I'll show you just how easy it'll be to use this product with your own equipment. And for this demonstration, over here I've set up a small media player that's currently looping a video on this monitor with an audio track in the background. And that's the audio that I'd like to share with my remote location. Over here I've set up a soundbar, and this represents my secondary location wherever I'd like to enjoy that audio. These can be up to 330 feet apart. In front of me I have the transmitter module here and the receiver module here. Now this solution supports both SPDIF audio and HDMI audio, either ARC or EARC. So I'll split this demonstration into two parts, and I'll start with the HDMI audio. The first connection I'll make is from the ARC eARC port on this monitor directly into the HDMI input port on the transmitter. Now we're ready to connect up the receiver. I've already set up the sound bar to accept audio through the HDMI ARC port, and I've connected a cable. I'll plug that into the HDMI output port on the receiver. And now we're ready for the network connection, which needs to be a CAT6 or a CAT7 cable. I've got a short CAT7 cable right here. I'll plug that into the receiver and the other end of it into the transmitter. And now we're ready for power. This system uses power over cable technology, which means a single power supply is all you'll need to power the entire solution, and you can plug that in at the receiver or the transmitter. I've already plugged that power supply in. The other end of the cable has a barrel connection on it, so I'll plug it into the receiver. And the minute I do, both modules come alive because the power for the transmitter is sent over that LAN connection. This unit is checking the audio standard. It's converting the audio into a signal that can be sent across the LAN connection. This one's going to convert it back into a signal that can play through an ARC or EARC port on the soundbar. It takes a second to make those adjustments, and you'll hear it come up. There it is right there. Now, normally, you have all this connected before you power up your equipment. So again, that handshake takes a second, but there you go. So you're listening to audio here that's coming from the monitor at the primary location through HDMI, in this case eARC, being sent across that LAN cable for the ability to play it at the remote location. Now if you stay tuned next, I'll show you how the SP diff connection works. And for this part of the test, I've plugged an optical cable into the SP diff output port on the monitor. The other end of that cable plugs into the transmitter optical SP diff input. And then I've also connected another optical cable to the soundbar, and I've changed the input selection to optical over there. I'll plug the other end of that into the optical output on the receiver. Now I need my network connection between them. I've got the same CAT7 cable. Plug it into the receiver, and I'll plug it into the transmitter. And now we're ready for power. And this time, just for fun, I'll plug it into the transmitter and show you that that power over cable technology works really well. You can hear the audio over here. Both modules come online. I've switched this over to SP diff, and there you go. So here what you're listening to is audio coming from the monitor over that SP diff optical connection, being converted again into a signal that can be sent over the LAN, converted back into a signal that's optically compatible with the soundbar, and pumped over to the soundbar. So it really is just that easy to get this product working. I hope you found this overview of the O-Ray eARC-EX330-K audio extension kit helpful. This product provides a very simple way for you to share audio from pretty much any media device with a second remote location up to 330 feet away over a single CAT6 or CAT7 LAN cable.
And the fact that both the transmitter and receiver feature an SPDIF connection for older gear and an HDMI connection for newer gear that fully supports the ARC and eARC standard means the kit is plug and play compatible with all of your modern media equipment. And the power over cable technology is nice as well because a single power supply is all you'll need to operate the entire solution because if you plug it into the receiver, the power needed for the transmitter will be sent over that same LAN cable. Everything you need to get started is included with the kit and with a few simple connections you can be up and running in no time. So until next time, thanks again for watching.